so I got a major issue with my Camry Hybrid. So this doesn't sound good. So the system, I mean the car, uh, showed all the warning lights for brake, the VEC light. EVS and the uh, check VSC system uh, message and when I check the code it's uh, C1391 which stands for a leak in the accumulator in the brake accumulator so that means that this one is defective it's leaking inside internally and the only way to do this is replace it and this thing is very expensive um, I think the cheapest that I could see online is around 900 bucks 960 dollars plus shipping so that's around a thousand bucks and most of the time uh, dealers will actually uh, charge you two thousand bucks for this plus labor which is around 500 to 600 dollars so this is a very expensive part to fail so this one roughly 200k dead so i don't know it's terrible but i'm going to replace it so first things first is to remove this hose yep. and uh, once removed i'm just gonna tie it up there so that it will not leak and using a number 10 wrench yep. so we got all of this uh, out using this tool number 10 using the this uh, two nuts in here that um, Pretty much hold the block bracket. I think it's a slatted bracket. So once that's loose, you could actually pull this out. But uh, I have to disconnect the cable first. So to disconnect the plug, you just pull it up, and it will actually. Once you pull this up, it will actually loosen. <laughs> Well, automatically disconnect the whole thing. Yeah, this has been stuck for 15 years. So it's not going to be easy to remove this. Uh, so in order to take it out, I have to loosen this area here, this bracket, and this one too. Yep. Because uh, there's no way for this to move around and then you can uh, pull it so this is the old unit the defective one and yep. same number yep then I have to transfer the uh, some sort of a rubber down here I got it from here this one doesn't have any so I'm gonna put it there for installing so I'm currently right now doing the test for the replacement uh, ABS actuator um, so far it's doing good uh, no more lights or warning about VSC uh, and then the brakes are also like uh, not feeling like spongy or uh, uh, soft actually so it's it's actually doing pretty well for a used replacement um i did bleed the system after replacing it and the way to do that is you need like a scan tool so my scan tool is actually my phone too so i cannot do the video for that while bleeding but it will tell you what to do there so um what happens there is that um it will ask you like what did you do so I choose the actuator replacement instead of the air bleeding procedure because you could do the air bleeding without 
replacing the ABS actuator. And then um, once I did that, it tells me to like, um, you do the, the front right, and then after bleeding the front right, you do the front left, and then after doing the front left, you shut the car off, and then you remove the two ABS motor relays. They are actually in front of the car. Um, they are colored blue. Uh, they are right next to each other, and they are near the, uh, the brake fluid reservoir. So you take those out, and then once you take those out, you wait for two minutes. Don't go near the car or open it. After two minutes has lapsed, then it will tell you to bleed the rear left wheel and then the rear uh, right wheel and then you just follow instructions after that um, it's very straightforward um, um, you could actually hear the uh, ABS pump actuating when you bleed the rear uh, the rear ones because um, I think the, the ABS pump works on the uh, the rear ones for the traction control so yep uh, so far so good and I bought the used part from a guy that actually buy cars from auction and they are like uh, cars that uh, got damaged from collision so I was able to get this one from a uh, 2007 Camry the same year same color as mine but it has lower mileage so I'm actually like wary that after several thousand miles um, this could happen again so I'm not so sure uh, hopefully, yeah, it, it works fine for several years. I got like 199,000 right now, shy of 20k. I hope that it will last for maybe 300k, hopefully, but yep. So this is one of the pitfalls of owning a hybrid. The parts are very expensive. So I think the lowest that I see online, new, is like $960 plus shipping. So that basically is close to like a thousand bucks but uh, what I'm not sure is is that is is that available yeah because they sometimes would say that yeah online that it's it's there but when you order it they say that oh yeah it's uh, we made a mistake it's uh, it's actually back ordered or you have to wait like several months for it to get delivered that's the pitfall for it and if you go to the dealership yeah expect something like probably 2500 to replace it so yep yeah. The cost of saving gas somehow doesn't really offset the cost of repairs on a hybrid when it reached the high mileage um, point. So that's one thing to figure out. Um, a hybrid is nice if there are no repairs. When there are repairs, expect some major bill. Yep, one of the drawbacks of having a hybrid.